something that recently happened or fairly recently was that uh, somebody who really took on everything there was about mindfulness and incorporated it into her life she had so many different health issues um, and it trans literally transformed her life which was fabulous um, and then she actually had an accident fairly recently and broke her leg and the ambulance took a couple of hours to come and she said she just did mindfulness the whole time and um, although she felt the pain she didn't really get affected by it and the ambulance um, and the hospital staff afterwards said it was like a miracle that she was able to be in that place for that length of time without um, being in absolute agony so fantastic um, testament to the power of mindfulness So mindfulness originated two and a half thousand years ago in um, the Buddhist tradition, but it was taken by John Kabat-Zinn and he devised this eight week mindfulness-based stress reduction program for people with chronic long-term health conditions. So yes, it's, it's a very ancient, ancient way of looking at things, but it's been taken from the religious aspect to working um, with individuals and with groups in the mainstream. So I think it's for anybody who is passionate about mindfulness and compassion that, have done, that has done their own eight week program. So they've done some personal development and they really want to understand more on a deeper level and how to impart that knowledge within their professional practice. So it, it really is for anybody who's got a passion for mindfulness and wants to impart it other people. So I have two very distinct teacher training courses. One of them is the one that I developed and is called Integrating Mindfulness and Compassion in Professional Practice and that is more geared towards people who want to work one-to-one -one, uh, with individuals for whom the um, eight-week course is not quite appropriate for whatever reason um, and so that's a level four qualification with the counselling and psychotherapy awarding body. And then the other one is the mindfulness-based teacher training uh, course, which is for people who really want to teach the evidence-based eight-week programme, either to the general public or to specific groups of people. There's a very hands-on practical approach here. Um, so one of the things that I've enjoyed about Karen's teaching, and I've also had experience of Neil's teaching, it's just the application of everything to your everyday life. So there's a very real sense that you can take the tools, the techniques, and begin to think about how well how you go out there and use them. With Mindfulness UK, it gives us it's giving me an opportunity in between sessions to process and think about um, and unpack what we've done in the previous session. So it's helping me, it's giving me the time and space to think more carefully about how I will deliver the next MBSR course to, uh, to colleagues at work um, and to, to uh, have more time to plan and, and, and prepare that, which has been, been very helpful. It has truly enhanced um, my, my capacity and my abilities as a psychotherapist with clients. Um, with you know through uh, offering me further skill sets but also um, the way I am when I practice when I'm with clients um, and how that has called called forth so you know yet another level um, from the clients that I worked with and um, I think the compassion and, and empathy it, it was it's just it's really changed how I practice as a psychotherapist I think the main thing for me that I've learned from from this thus far is uh, the importance of the inquiry process for me that's been a very significant part of this uh, teacher training um, and the way in which you can really help to support uh, a student especially somebody at the beginning of their journey with any meditative experiences um, and how you can help and support them through uh, really asking the right questions and at the appropriate time. Teach a training course in three words. Um, intense, 
in depth. What would my third one be? Um, helpful. Um, caring. And uh, effective. Deeply professional uh, organisation set up. It's professional, it's compassionate and enlightening. Um, okay, I would say it's in inspiring. I would say it's empowering because it gives you the tools to go and uh, deliver it. Um, and I say it has its challenges as well. So it's, it's personally quite challenging because it requires you to look into yourself and consider actually where you are at in your own mindfulness journey to then be able to go and deliver that to others. I'd like to want something with an in, but let's say enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs>